Cousin It, how are you? High five? No? Nothing? How come? What's up? What's up? Come on, get your act together, get your act together. You are on camera, sir. Oh, okay, right, yes. It's been cold, yes it has. I agree, it really has been cold, burr. And you've been outside, uh-huh, yeah. But you can handle it better than I can, trust me. Look at the result of what happens when you get that cold factor. Hi, everybody. While we explore Cousin It here from most of all sides, this is insanity. And he's having a moan because he's out in the cold. But this is what I get when you are out in the cold. This is what I get and this is what I want to see. Because all these blooms are dedicated to everybody that watches this video. How about that? Does that make you feel better? Yeah? Good stuff. But you need to move because we've got other things in bloom and I want to get on with it before that gorgeous sunlight moves across the sky and is gone. So let's go have a look-see. You get out of the way and we'll be right back. I thought this would be a very cute little clip to start off with the next bloom dedication for Animal Lover. So yeah, this is King, my Harlequin Dachshund, and he has destroyed the slipper, and he's done. So let's go to the blooms. And these are they, animal lover. My Oncidium Twinkle Cinnamon is in bloom with two spikes. I have zeroed in on one spike just to get into some of the detail of these cuties. They look like some kind of a burnt amber or something like that. Reminds me of a tiger eye, the semi-precious stone. Very, very pretty. So let me zoom out. These are the two spikes, Animal Lover, that I am dedicating to you to say thank you so very, very much for your support on my channel. Now the orchid looks a little bit scruffy, and yes, I do not cut the tips off of the leaves during the cold months of the year, and I just let them do their thing. I have had some bud blast, as you can see, which is a shame, but when I open my terrace door to my dining room, sometimes it happens that I haven't calculated the ambient air correctly and these guys live very close to that terrace door and they do get a little bit of a draft every once in a while. But needless to say, the fact that she is blooming is absolutely for me a highlight because I'm having great success with my red fantasy. This one is a mediocre success and a fail is my white fantasy twinkle. But I did have four spikes at the beginning of her spiking season. I cut two spikes off in order to give her a chance to at least bloom so that we can see them and enjoy them and that I can dedicate them. But she is not happy to be exerting this kind of energy into any kind of blooms. She's not 100% anchored in the pot, but I really did want some cinnamon twinkle blooms. I love the fragrance. It is not as intense and as pungent as other twinkles. If I would say it is honey or has a molasses kind of scent to it, then that is true, but it, it has a dusty undertone, in my opinion, if dusty makes sense. It's not a clear and crisp fragrance of molasses or honey. There's a little bit of a hint of another layer that dampens the intensity of the fragrance to a degree. Meanwhile, the red fantasy next to it, it might be overpowering it, but I'm pretty good with my nose. I can tell who's who, but the, the, yeah, the cinnamon is not as intense. Never mind though, she is gorgeous. I love burnt amber color. Eye of the tiger, semi-precious stones, all that kind of tones I do really, really like. 
So, animal lover, thank you very, very much for your support. Here's another little add-on that I want to point out. I do not know which channel is yours. I do not know what link to add. So if you do see this video, would you please leave a comment, please, so that I can click on your icon in order to get to your channel and then link the correct channel. There are several channels in YouTube that have Animal Lover on them and I don't know who is who because I've never actually seen a comment of yours in my videos. You came in as a new subscriber on my notifications. I really do hope that you see this video in order that I can do you justice and put your link into the description below. Thank you for your support, Animal Lover. Oncidium Twinkle Cinnamon blooms for you. I think that ivy makes for a wonderful little frame around this beautiful Brasavola cordata. Ying Ying SM something toga. So that will actually be named on the description. I don't normally mess up the screen with any kind of names. They're all in the description of my videos. But uh, yeah, SM slash toga. Okay, I'll put that up on the screen. However, never mind. Look at that. Why liberal? Why not, right? <laughs> Look at her. Isn't she adorable? She's so cute. I'm hoping that the sun is not washing out this lip too much. And if it is, we have the option of this lip to see how delicate and dainty that is. There are like little um, folding striations as if you would have linen folded that never, like a crease. It's really, really cool. And until I don't edit, I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. Here's more, they have little creases in them. So this is the first time I'm actually getting a spike with four blooms. Really, really pleased about the development of this orchid because she came from the dreaded S nursery, but that is not what this is about. Why liberal? This is about you and that this spike blooms for you as a Muchos, muchos gracias for being here on my channel, for being so supportive, for your very, very kind comments, the feedback, the motivation, all of that good stuff that makes me feel like, yes, I'm making sense. People understand me. <laughs> Thank you so much, my liberal. Much, much appreciated. So a little bit more about this orchid. She has been struggling with me for years. I've only ever seen one bloom out of her, but now I think we've crossed the curve, the line, and I think she's going to just get stronger and stronger from here on in. And you see what I got when she arrived? A couple of sticks that weren't looking as green. And then the next growth tried really hard, but it wasn't strong enough, so it kind of pinched itself within the sheath. I didn't mess with it soon enough, so that stayed like that, like a little baby heron trying to get some food. And then we got this one last year, early last year, which bloomed one little bloom. And then in the same year of 2020, this is the next one that grew. And it's marginally bigger and we have four blooms. I've been struggling with this orchid also because it seemed to like harbor scale and you can see the damage of the same right here seems like all my schwerter orchids have that affinity not all i exaggerate but never mind this one she is now clean there is no scale on her and look what she's done so pretty why liberal and she's all yours well i'm her keeper but the blooms are yours and she smells divine. She is very, very, very delicate in her fragrance, simply because I don't have the climate at the moment to push that fragrance into the air. But there is a hint of fragrance there. It's very, very light. It's it literally, you know, again, maybe the head is playing tricks because what you see is what your brain associates with a fragrance. But she smells like fresh linen this time. 
Normally there's a hint of lemon, but no. This time it's so mild, it's like the fresh linen spray that you get for your bedroom or right after you've taken your sheets out and you've made up your bed. It's a very clean, very delicate and elegant smell. I love it. Absolutely love it. So thank you, Why Liberal, ever, ever so much. Know that Brasavola Cordat Sin Ying. These four blooms, although they're here with me, they belong to you. Oh my goodness, doesn't this just look so cute? With a little bit of imagination. It's like having three little faces staring at you with their little hoodies. Oh gosh, aren't these just so cute in a group together? <laughs> you know, I don't know all of you well enough to be able to say who knows who, who interacts with who. And those are the challenges of a new and small channel. So I do apologize, but let me just say it this much. If I knew three of you well enough that hang out in groups together or interact a lot together, these three blooms would be dedicated to the group of you three because I find them just to be so darling, so cutely positioned. And yeah, like, you know, three good friends going out. Let's go out, we are in our finery. We have our top hat on and let's go out and have some fun. I think they're just so cute. However, forgive me. Jose Marcelo, Ross Rosalik, and Paige Lovelace. I'm going to throw in a lady there in order to make this group a little bit more acceptable and have like three friends going out having a great time. Sorry about the fourth date that isn't around. Maybe next year I'll get four blooms. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that um, Jose Marcelo, Ross Rosalik, and Paige Lovelace, when you see this video, that you do understand what I'm trying to get at. I'm not trying to offend. It's just when I see them together like this on my shelf, I'm like, and who do you think you are? If I wasn't dedicating these blooms to you, I would call them my three stooges. <laughs> but I don't want to be disrespectful. I don't. I just think they are so adorable. This orchid has only ever given me one bloom every year. So this is Paphiopedalum Iona. And to see that she can actually produce two on a single spike is amazing. And look at this, look at this profile. <laughs> And off we go. Where are we headed? Well, why don't we have some tapas before anything else? Oh, okay, let's go for tapas. Let's do that. You know, like, sorry, but and off they go. You know what I mean? Anyway, oh, I could go on and on. I'm just so enchanted by this little grouping of blooms. Yes, I know it's, it's probably a little bit difficult to understand where my head goes. You know, I, I do take my orchid hobby very, very seriously, but when you see something like this, I just can't help it. My imagination goes, it just goes where it goes. <laughs> anyway, but I want to say thank you. Really, really want to say a heartfelt and meaningful thank you. I'm not trying to joke this away or make light of anything. I just can't help myself when I see something like this. It just inspires me just to go a little bit further than just the bloom. But the thank you and the gratitude is heartfelt and has nothing to do with the humor side of it. I'm dead serious when I say thank you so much, Paige Lovelace, Jose Marcelo and Ross Rosalik. I do not have comment references. I do not have any video references of where I saw your name, but your name is on the list, so I must have seen it somewhere. Thank you ever so much. And I hope again that you understand that saying thank you is from the bottom of my heart. I'm not joking when I say that. The only humor that I am addressing here is this fabulous little group. My little trio of blooms that are now here for you. And off they go. They have things to do. They're busy. Bye.
Neo Stylus Lucinary Blue, the second spike. Despite being a little deformed, the two buds have opened. And these two buds are for Tina6993. I know that I can't present you with a beautiful luscious spike, but I find these blooms so intriguing and so magical. I think they deserve a dedication. So Tina6993, I'd like you to know that I have this little second spike of just two blooms, cute blooms, blooming for you here in Southern Spain. I wanted to film this orchid in the sun. We will go into the shade, but I wanted to show something remarkable about her, apart from the fact that she smells so good. Oh, she smells so good. She is like the triple version intensity of a regular loose neary, which is pretty fragrant. So you do have that lemon and those hints of citrus going through her. And she is not just fragrant in the evenings, having the Neo Phoenicia in her. She is fragrant all day long. Oh, it's so good. But what I wanted to show you, and that's why I hope filming in the sun is not going to wash things out, is the metallic effect of this orchid. And that is why I'm fighting to keep her. Whether she gives me deformed spikes or not, I'm not throwing this orchid away. There is something up with her. I will figure it out probably this growing season. And if I don't figure it out, she's not going anywhere because look at these blooms. And I hope the metallic effect comes through in the sun. She is like a hologram metallic, not just metallic, because look at this. These are the blooms as they age back here. They're not old, but they get a little bit of a vintage purple to them, still with a hologram kind of coloring. And then these are the fresher blooms that are just an amazing, amazing metallic effect that has other colors in it. And that's why I say hologram, mother of pearl, some, something like that. And I'm really, really hoping that the camera picks this up and you can see this. Let's take her in the shade so that I don't get more wrinkles on my face because I'm squinting against that reflection of that white wall. Let's have a look-see. So here she is in the shade. A, a remarkable, a remarkable orchid. I don't know if I could ever replace her. I don't know if she still exists on the market. I got her a couple of years ago, well, three now. Ooh, time flies. Never ever had a clean spike from her but the blooms that she does produce are just, are just like, yeah, I'm hoping that you can see this. I don't want to be too repetitive, but this is what is so striking about her. So we have a different effect in the sun. Beautiful, and like I said, I can smell her from here and I'm about a meter away from her with the camera. Gorgeous. So I have a few more blooms coming. We'll see how they develop, whether they are able to be given away because yes, the spikes might be deformed, but there's nothing wrong with the blooms. I'm not going to try and dedicate imperfect blooms to any of, of you. So, but Tina, these, Tina6993, these little blooms, these little cuties are for you. And they are super long lasting. So just for you to know that she's here They'll be in bloom for another four weeks at least, based on the temperatures that we are getting. Thank you, Tina. Thank you so much for your support. I hope that everything is well in your part of the world. Stay safe. Hi, everybody. <laughs> one day, one day, maybe this time, in 2022, there will be a selfie of myself and cousin it. How about that? <laughs> One day I want to make a selfie with him. Meanwhile, he's wearing my glasses, which he doesn't agree with. He says they're his now, but okay. But yeah, we'll have a selfie session, cousin it and I. Thank you everybody so much. So much for your support. We both really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed seeing some of the blooms that are in bloom at the moment. I will be doing a little comprehensive look-see of everything that is in bloom because, 
Even though the cold temperatures have actually um, slowed the buds and opening down, it's a busy grow room at the moment, or dining room, better said. It's busy, it's beautiful, and it's highly fragrant. <laughs> Thank you everybody so much for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it. This series gives me a great amount of joy. So from me and Cousin It, Take care, everybody, and please stay safe. Have a wonderful day. Bye.